simply say that in this emergency that we're in, I think that behooves artists to come out and speak for Kamala against Donald Trump because he is an existential threat to the country. What do you say to that? You know what? I don't get too deep into politics. I didn't get a chance to watch the debate last night. I obviously have been watching uh, like everybody else. I think voting is an individual choice. And I applauded Usher for his very diplomatic and detailed answer. You have to look at the reality of the country that we are and the country that we want to be and find the candidate that you feel both are, are uh, op who, who fits the category of where we want to be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and that's it. And that's what you vote based off of, uh, who you um, highlight and how you choose to highlight it on whatever platform you have is your prerogative. Yes. A few moments later. Now the Sean Diddy Combs investigation. New surveillance video shows Combs being taken into custody in a Manhattan hotel last week. We need everyone to get out there and to support this campaign. It doesn't matter whether it's going from door to door. Every call matters. Every conversation matters. All of it makes a difference in closing this race. And the interest rates are so fucking high. I just, you know, I don't understand. I really, why is the president having, like, I just really want the president to say out his own mouth. I want the president to say out his own mouth that we're in a recession. Oh, let's talk about that shit. Let's talk about another thing that I wanted to say, right? So I saw last week, I saw last week, right? I'm not going to say blogs because it was actually on the news. And I don't like this, this mis, mis type of information, right? So the news decided to make a report about how people are not uh, grocery shopping because everybody's doing a Zempic now. So supposedly when you do a Zempic, it doesn't make, it doesn't make you want to eat. And it's like the propaganda is fucking crazy. First of all, let's make it very clear. And the, the whole United... It's probably a 1% of people that's done on Ozempic. It's probably less. less. Let me tell you something. I, I, have a lot of, I have a lot of friends that they're a little bit, you know, on the, on the thick side. sides. You know what I'm saying? And they're on the, uh, they're on the other side. And they be trying to get Ozempic. Ozempic is expensive. So the average Americans are not eating... The average Americans are not eating because of Ozempic. A lot of people cannot you know, afford a Zempic, and, and, and unless you have diabetes, the doctors is not giving it to you. The issue is, my motherfuckers, that the inflation is going crazy, and it's, and it's going up on a, on a rapid pace. Like, and a few moments later. Now, the Sean Diddy Combs investigation, new surveillance video shows Combs being taken into custody in a Manhattan hotel last week. Okay, so I don't take lightly the call. Sorry, guys, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, guys. I've been waiting for this moment this whole life, my whole life. I need patience over here. Patience, where are you, girl? I need patience over here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How you guys doing tonight? How you guys doing tonight? Are we ready to make history? Are we ready to make history? Are we ready to change these four years? No. Are we ready to change the next eight years? Because we're going to make sure we have Kamala Harris in office for eight years. Thank you. All right. Vice President Kamala Harris, thank you for having me. I do not take lightly the call to show up, the call to speak up, the call to deliver a message that's been on my heart for a hot minute now. In his criminal case, we're going to revisit their history, the connections, and more.
more with former prosecutor Ava Sullivan. JLo's mother warned us about Diddy. Nearly a decade ago, Jennifer Lopez's mom, Guadalupe, was ringing warning bells about Diddy. Former record executive Suge Knight suggested that Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck's divorce was triggered by Lopez's appearance in tapes the FBI seized during a raid on Sean Diddy Combs' properties. Knight believes the FBI allegedly handed Ben Affleck tapes from the raid that implicate J-Lo in questionable activities. The Diddy case is finally making headway, and all eyes are on him. What's interesting is that while many high-profile figures have distanced themselves from Diddy, Lopez has remained largely silent. This silence has fueled speculation about what she might know and whether she's trying to avoid becoming embroiled in the legal proceedings. When it comes to Hollywood relationships, few have been as complex and public as the intertwining lives of Jennifer Lopez, Sean Diddy Combs, and Ben Affleck. Each of them. A few moments later. American woman, I am the daughter of Guadalupe Rodriguez and David Lopez, a proud daughter and son of Puerto Rico. You can't even spell American without Rican. <laughs> this is our country too, and we, we must exercise our right to vote on November 5th. I'm a people running, cause you're